I'm lucky to live in the greater Phoenix area where we have a ton of card shows, and I love attending them for the deals in the bargain bins, to network with members of the community, and finally to share my pickups with you guys, my audience. Welcome to my card show series, where I show a walkthrough of the show venue and many of the dealer showcases, give my thoughts and review of the show, and show my pickups from various dealers. So if you're interested in seeing what a particular show is like, or if you wanna see what I picked up, kick back, relax, and enjoy the vid. What's up everybody, Frankie is HP Collectibles here with another card show pickups and walkthrough video on Saturday, October 5th, 2024. I went to the Phoenix VIP card show in Phoenix, Arizona. It had been a while since I had been to this show because another show on the same weekend uh, happens to be very, very close to me. In fact, closest of all the shows, um, but it was good to see a different show that I hadn't been to in a while. And I was also a dealer at the show uh, sharing a table with Gray Street Sports Cards, Brian, a good friend of mine, uh, someone that I'm very grateful to have met in this hobby. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, was a good show as it always has been whenever I visited it. Uh, I didn't pick up a ton of stuff. I did get, uh, I did get a, a, a decent variety of things and I got a couple oddballs, which I always like. Uh, and I ended up selling a bunch of stuff, which is cool as well. So as usual, I will do the walkthrough. We will come back and I will show you the pickups. Uh, but before we do that, if you appreciate these walkthrough videos or the even the pickup side of these, uh, these show videos, um, please make sure that you are subscribed and like the video um, because that shows YouTube that uh, my content is cool and you like it and it and they should show that content to other people I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers so any uh, help on that aspect from you guys the viewers is greatly appreciated um, that being said I'm going to just jump right into this walkthrough and I'll see you back here with the pickups soon And uh, oh, I think I asked you about that Asar Thompson in the past at one of the last shows. Yeah. How much did you have on that? 50 on the hollows. Okay. 50 on both. Those are cool. Yeah, cool. Well, what do you have the camera? Uh, 125. Thank you, sir. Well, I mean, yeah, you would have to want to take some prospects and stuff, so I'm not sure if we can get something done. I don't have a lot of basketball. Uh, we don't have, no, I like football too. I like the cap and the jersey. I don't know if I would trade Niners for Dwayne Wade. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry. No, you I'm gonna put these ones uh, up I don't know, I got one of his cards. I got a Bobby Wood autograph rookie card. He's trying to sell. He is a big man. You guys out of here? 
Is there anything that resembles that? Uh, not really. Those black boxes are doing five, but it's around a thousand, twelve, right? He works at Jordan. I'm not really. What was that? You went to Jordan and what? He works at Jordan and he's here for the first I mean, there's out of 25, it's the same one. You're on card ladder, right? I'm not on card ladder. I love the F1 stuff in here, man. What do you got on the Ricardo, the solo Ricardo? This is actually my buddy's showcase. Oh, really? So, yeah. I think I, I think he's around fourteen hundred on it. Okay. All right. I won't ask about the Ricardo Lando combo then. <laughs> so it's coming to uh, ten. Yeah. The I, two, yeah, I saw. He's my favorite driver, but unfortunately, he's not. Um, yeah. Thank you, sir. Bro, you know how rare those are? I heard. Stadium release. Yeah. There's there's only there's none on eBay right now. There's none on Con C. There's none graded. I sold one to um, <clears throat> one of the one of the guys who runs the Desert Dog Show in Mesa for like twenty five, like two weeks ago. And I have one more, but there you can't find them anywhere. So the fact that you have one and you have it autographed by Kid is kind of inter is pretty interesting. Yeah. Where'd you come up with that? I just tried to kind of oh, really? Yeah, you never see those. What do you got on it? What are you asking? Now that I told you how much the Robs? Okay, okay. No, that's uh, you should get it slapped. Pop zero. None, none graded at all. So. I didn't expect to see that. That wasn't on my bingo card for today. Alright, what do you want for the Bo Jackson Royals hat? Uh, 75. Okay. That's literally the price MSRP, thing. yeah. And it was actually more than that because it was part of the box series. Like, yeah, yeah. I figured. Hats, so. I, just, I just take the sticker price. Right, right. now that's, that's, it's fair. I just, uh, <laughs> I'm a Bo Jackson guy, but I, I own nothing that's blue. <laughs> <laughs> Wemby hunting? Yeah, we are Wemby hunting currently, yes. Indeed. Autos in this pack. On a, on a blaster? Yeah. 
this out of my hanger. Hey. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's great. Yeah. What was it? Uh, it was a different from those ones, too. Right. What, what was it? it was a, oh, a Brandy Miller, okay. Out of 25, yeah. I just wish they wouldn't have relocated the jersey numbers yeah. and put shapes and colors in the background. Yeah. Like, the, so disappointing. Other than that, yeah. it would be great, but... Yeah. All right, well, good luck, man. Thank you. If I hear you scream from across the room, then uh, I'll run on over. <laughs> I'm well, yourself? <laughs> we got the trade table over here, making some deals. You want to try standing on a standing on a chair? No, I'm no, no, no standing on chairs this show. No, not this one. I'm I'm editing the Chandler Gilbert show right now. Uh -huh. and I caught I caught that. You're like, oh yeah, you cut that out, and then I just ding. No, <laughs> you'll see it. You'll laugh. Get your Pete Rose jersey here. Get your Pete Rose. Oh right wow, here. Pete Rose. What do you got on it? 150, but I'm willing to do whatever somebody offers him. Whatever somebody offers him. It's not that much lower than Whatever that. somebody offers him. All right. You'll get you'll get something for that. He's got a he's got a fake real Joe Montana right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's fake but real. I mean, I'm holding it, so it's got to be real. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Unauthorized reprint. Unauthorized reprint. Yeah, there you go. It's a true blue down the field on them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Steve just marched down the field on them twice. Inventor. That middle linebacker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, see what I got. Let's make some trades. I'm gonna look at your cards too. Okay. Hey, he's like, I said, me, my friends. I should have done my walkthrough earlier, huh? What's that? I should have done my walkthrough earlier. Yeah. Not much is left over here. Not much, yeah. I didn't know you by name. I was kind of shocked. All right, here's my table, everybody. There's a crowd around your table, too. There is, there is. Um, some really cool stuff in here. 137, marked. Football and basketball. I'm colorblind. You, you'll manage. You'll manage. 
You'll be fine. I've made it this far. I've made it this far. We started playing D and D. Did I come? Oh, I'd be in. Do you like to be a DM? I'd be in for y'all. I can talk to everybody. So it's like, so far, it's 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 all family. It's Shannon, me. Uh, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. Do they know how to play? Oh yeah, we, we, we just finished our first class. You guess your thoughts? Hope you're not a human. Are you human? No. Pop four. I have all four. What's that? Four. Two higher at pop oh. ten. Ceiling number to twenty-five. What? Hit me up oh. if you're interested. You're big as well. Big. <laughs> and we got Brian's stuff. I'm trying to think like a first. Did you ever play the new one? No. I'm like, oh, I want to be a dragon. You get that flavor. And then, um. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Warrior or barbarian? Wizard. Wizard? <laughs> I know, he doesn't look like a wizard, does he? <laughs> no, but he, a, a dragonborn wizard is not yeah. like something you see. It's rare, I know. I really <laughs> wanted to be different. They're normally, like... Nerds! Last time I played, I played a Goliath, like a... Like a Paul Drexler. And I had such love and stumped on I'm trying to figure out a three letter word for globe All right all right audience <laughs> think about it I'm sure that'll be a big help for her. <laughs> What up Not much left Sold the Walter Payton rookie that was here earlier that I was drooling over That's pretty cool.
Oh, he's going to be around there or something for the uh, uh, Red Ice Court. Probably nice. Yeah. Selling for uh, around 100 and below 100. That's like the same thing with that. When I first pulled that, it was 400. Yeah, this, this stuff too has is, is come yeah. down. The market has plateaued and it's come down. It's, it's crazy. Are you off of do you think if we want to be up, we can even be close to that? I mean, since the, the, the car dropped. You're alright, man. Thanks, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was high enough, but right now I can't sit more down, but I still have Yeah, I think I'll be good still. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even that's kind of You know, with the way that the, uh, yeah, the game What do you got on that Chris Carter? Uh, Chris Carter. Hey, I'll be here. Yeah. I'll be here. I'll be here. Uh, well, you got to look it up? Okay. All right. I'll think about it. No, no worry, no worry. Here? Yeah, it's packs. It's like $4 a pack. Ted and Colleen. This whole section, yes, or a dollar. Man, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I'm kind of hit or miss. Yeah. All right, welcome back. I'm going to jump into the background right away so we can get started. I went a little optic for the background here, and it's because it's all relative to things that I picked up at the show. I did pick up a decent amount of optic at this show. So starting with a Kyler Murray pink optic rookie PSA 9, and then a optic insert in basketball. You got the Express Lane Hollow for De'Aaron Fox from 2019-20, and then 2020-21, Anthony Edwards, Hyper Pink PSA 8, which is actually a card that I got from the Phoenix VIP show um, on one of these walkthrough videos, uh, probably about two years ago, maybe? 
I don't remember exactly when I got it, but I think I paid 20 bucks for it. It's only an eight, but who cares? Um, all right, but yeah, that's, that's that. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I got stuff from a number of dealers here. We're starting off with Braden J or Braden underscore Jarvis on Instagram. Um, I did re-sleeve and reorganize most of this stuff, by the way. Um, starting off with baseball. You don't see that on this channel too often. Um, I just, I happen to like the 2008 cards, just in general, eight, 2008 tops. Um, and Derek Jeter Gold, even though it's an All-Stars uh, card, was cool. It does have some damage on it, which I didn't really notice at the time. But, I mean, this was me hitting a dollar bin, so who cares? You know, 2000, numbered to 2008, because the golds are always numbered to the year that they are. Um, so yeah, a little baseball. I think I'm gonna put that over here. I probably won't add any more to the rest of that stack, the rest of the video. So there's, there's your baseball. All right, so this is really, really cool. Sometimes I pick things up on this channel because they're, even though they're not going into the personal collection, I pick them up just to show you guys. So first off, it looks like it's in another sleeve, but it's not. Uh, this is like a plastic feel card. And um, you'll notice it kind of like bubbles up a little bit. And there is some glitter in there. Now, I don't know how, if I'm gonna be able to catch this on camera. Looks like I can. But there is a liquid in here. Looks like, it's probably like a gel. So this, um, I always pick things up that are interesting to show you guys, my viewers, um, innovation that we had in the hobby. Now, as you can see, this is FLIR Showcase 1997-98. Um, and this is the Wave of the Future insert. There were other Wave of the Future inserts in other cards uh, of, of FLIR. I, I think dating back all the way from 94, 95, but none of them were this innovative. Um, but I always pick things, this was a dollar. And so even though this won't go into my PC, I wanted to show it to you guys because we haven't seen innovation in this hobby in like 10, 15 years. And I always talk about it on this channel. You know, whether it be a mail time or a, or a card show video or something. And this is a level of innovation from at this point, what is this, 25 years ago? That more than 25 years ago, almost 30 years ago, that this card that has gel and glitter in it is still holding up today. No problem. But yet we are not getting cards anything like this in today's product. Um, so it, I don't know. Uh, I, I just, I had to show this to you. It was a dollar and this is just so cool. Like I, I, I just, I love these cards. I, maybe I should go for the set. I can't imagine that they would be cheap considering there's a bunch of rookies of them and they're from 97, 98. So like, I don't know, Tim Duncan, Tracy McGrady. Other than that, I'm not sure how many other rookies would really be expensive from this set, but this is a really, really cool set. And I just like showing you guys innovation. I know it was like four or five card shows ago, I showed you the Gary Payton scoring or leading performers or something. And it was a finest from, I wanna say 99, 2000, that was heat activated, where it had the little black dots on the right. You could hold your, your thumb, your finger over it, and it would turn, it was like a mood ring, a mood, a mood ring or a mood uh, material to where when you press it, it'll disappear. You can slowly see it start to change colors and it can reveal something on the bottom. Just another level of innovation from the 90s that we don't see anymore. All right, this is why I put Express Lane in the background. DeMar DeRozan, Express Lane Hollow. Um, I did pick up a decent number of optic inserts at this show and this is one of them. Um, I know it's not like particularly special, but um, I do like optic inserts. Uh, similar to a, how I like Topps Chrome inserts. There's something about them. I think Donruss just copies the way, oh, 
in some cases, copies the way that, that Topps did it in the past. So um, not really anything different for, from Panini there. Uh, speaking of Panini, there's more optic. Damian Lillard, purple, not numbered, 21-22. Another 21-22, Jimmy Butler, purple hollow. So yeah, nothing like crazy there. I know those aren't like insanely rare or anything, but I always pick up good quality players of those when possible. All right, so I made a trade while I was at the show. Guy came by with a stack of stuff. I looked through it, there was two things I was interested in. Um, I ended up picking up one of them. The other was a Paul Pierce Chrome Refractor, which when I looked them up, they routinely go from like 180 to 210. And I did not have the number of trade stuff uh, to really make that trade happen, at least of stuff that he was interested in. And I was not willing to put, to, to pitch in extra cash. I'm trying to, you know, get some money for cards right now by going to this show and not spend a bunch of money at the show instead. But I did end up trading a 96.97 finest Mitch Richmond gold atomic refractor, which uh, cheapest one on eBay is like 50, I think right now. The one that I had was fairly, pretty badly miscut, but it was still like in good shape, but I didn't mind. Um, I ended up getting something that I wanted instead. I don't really collect finest, um, although Mitch Richmond was a PC when I was a kid, but I traded it for this Rockstars refractor for uh, the round mound of rebound, Charles Barkley. So beautiful looking card. I love Rockstar's inserts. I think this is only my second Rockstar refractor. And then I have a ton of them raw. I should take it out, it looks so much better. Beautiful, beautiful looking card. Rockstar's are very, very cool. I wish they made the new Chrome Rockstar's as good as the old ones but that's expecting quite a bit. All right, let me, let me rearrange here. Let's do, um, let's do this. Optic other tops. Uh, oh, did I show? That was from Coach Matt D Dietrich? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can read that writing. I will put it on screen. And, um, and if he has cards on his Instagram, I will give him a follow. And if it's as personal, I will not because <laughs> I keep my Instagram, my card Instagram specifically for cards. All right, next up, J Rocks 1105. So um, he had a bargain box, and um, and I went through that, and I just picked up some some random optic color. Uh, mostly, I think they're all regular hollows, but JJ Watt. Do I have a football, a football section? I do now. So JJ Watt, L, uh, LT, the newer LT with Annie and Tomlinson, Paulo, John Riggins, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame running back, um, Hollo, Jamal Williams, my favorite, favorite player in the league right now because he's so fun and he's so he's, I don't know, he just has a great time. Um, there's a there's some color, Patrick Sertan. Uh, Purple Shock, one of the best DBs in the league at this point. Um, and these are dirt cheap, so cool. Um, speaking of, there's the regular Hollow. Uh, Tony Baselli, Hall of Famer. Very nice. Great OT. Wish he would have had a, a longer career. Still got into the Hall, though, after like seven, being a finalist like seven times. Um, Drew Brees, here's a future first ballot Hall of Famer. One of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Fred Warner, great active player. Um, I don't remember what these are called, Blue Stars or maybe just Stars, but okay, cool. Dan Hampton, Hall of Famer in this current year optic. Um, Jason Witten, I think a future, uh, future Hall of Famer. So he may have to wait a while. I think he's eligible already. I don't remember, I will put it on screen. Um, and the other LT, the the uh, the older LT, um, arguably the greatest defensive player that ever played the game, also in that stars or blue stars or whatever. So um, that was cool. That was the stuff from J Rocks 1105. Some good stuff. All right, next up uh, we have from Tanner underscore Stevens. 
Um, I got a number of different things from Tanner here. Now, some of this is just like stuff that was in his 50 cent box or, or 25 cent box. I know I was looking through his quarter box and he said, here, take the whole box for 15. And I'm like, no, I, there's not gonna be enough in here for, for me at least. If I was like a regular dealer at shows, I probably would have picked it up because then I would, it would have been great like a bargain bin material. But um, I only found like four things that I wanted in there. And then I found a couple things that were like 50 cents, 75 cents, and then a dollar. So I picked those up. So random gold here, TJ Ward from 2011. So that is number two, 2011. Um, where's my Topps football? Topps football right there. All right. Uh, 2013, a Lettuce McKelvin. I have no idea who this guy was, is, but um, it's number to 399. It's color. And I pick up random Topps parallel color to put in my box because, because I'm dumb like that and I want to waste 50 cents on it. Uh, now this was cool. Gold Refractor from 2013 Chrome. Brandon Marshall, great receiver. Um, won't ever be a, like a Hall of Famer, but was definitely a fan favorite and had many, many 1,000 yard seasons. Um, this was really cheap. I, I am debating on whether I'm gonna keep this or not because you know, those of you familiar with the channel know I love gold refractors, um, but you know, I, I usually only do guys if they are Hall of Famers, unless it's a rookie because uh, I do Hall of Famers and notable rookies. Um, and then I will do fan favorites. Now, like personal fan favorites. He is a fan favorite, but not a personal fan favorite. I appreciate Brandon Marshall, but I am not like particularly fond of him. Um, 28 to 50, look at all those 1,000 yard seasons before this card was even made. So, I mean, what a beast. I should probably keep it. I think it was five bucks. I like put a $20 price tag on it right away and put it out just in case. But I may actually, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with it, guys. I don't know. I might keep it. I might sell it. But it's definitely worth more than the $5 that I paid for it. Um, this was out of the dollar box. Sean McCoy Pulsar from 2015. Very cool. Pulsars are beautiful. Kind of hard to catch on camera. There we go. Let's get, get a little bit of it on there. But those are, those are very cool. Not numbered. Um, a, a random parallel, gold parallel from Topps Basketball. David Noel, rookie. Um, I don't even know if he played in the league past a year or two, but uh, oh well, 06, 07, gold, number to 500. Cool, it will go in my, in my uh, Topps, uh, Topps and Optic parallel box. Um, Next up, insert, Tops insert, own the game. Um, although I'm very fond of the own the game insert sets, this one in particular is very, I don't know, I was gonna say basic, but I, I like basic, I like minimalistic. Um, this just seems like, look at all this wasted space. I don't know, maybe they have versions that are autographed. So that would make sense for like a sticker auto or something. But Sean Marion owned the game. I think this is from that same year. Yeah, 06, 07 tops. Um, but whatever, I picked it up anyway. Marion, another guy, won't get into the hall, but he is a fan favorite, especially here in Arizona. Um, and then we got some optic color. We got we got cat purple from a couple years ago, not numbered. Um, we got a kawaii uh, purple from a couple years ago. Um, I thought this was optic, but I, I, you know, I'm just now noticing it says select. So I'm guessing I'm not really familiar enough with with Panini, but I'm guessing that maybe this year they had the 75 years of the NBA in multiple products because I'm pretty sure they had these in optic as well, and that's why I was picking them up. And now I see the select logo, so I don't know. I will have to maybe even reconsider these picking these up, considering they were in multiple products. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll cut Panini some slack and I'll actually just do them anyway. Um, and then a fast break of this year's Optic, Joel Embiid, not numbered, um, but cool nonetheless. Fast breaks look nice. I like fast breaks. With the little circles. They're, they're very, very nice. I like them. All right. 
Um, also, from that same dealer, when I walked in, I right after I set up, I started looking around before the everywhere opened already, and I instantly saw this for three dollars, and I had to have it. It was already out of the package. Joe Montana McFarland Sports Picks Legends Series. I don't know if it's Legends Series One or Two. It's probably Legends Series One because Montana would be like one of the first people that you do for Legends. Does it say on the bottom? No, it says 2006. Um, but it's very, very, very hard to beat a uh, Todd McFarlane Sports Picks Joe Montana for $3. So sick, I did not have this. And um, I, I, uh, I love those McFarlanes. I have a ton of them by now. And then going with this whole oddball, uh, this is gonna kick off an oddball theme here, but this is <laughs> a Shaquille O'Neal acrylic stand-up. So as you can see, it's got this little this little um, tab on the bottom, and then there's this little stand, which I guess is mirrored on the other side. Mirror, oh, mirror back. Oh, it's, so it's the mirror on the back. I don't know what the bottom looks like. I can probably open it up, it's already open. Um, but I like, like, weird oddball stuff. Okay. It's just a little stand that says NBA. Um, and, and this was, I don't remember what this was. I think he was asking, like, four or five bucks. Uh, maybe three bucks. I don't remember. But all I know is I like dumb, little, stupid oddball items that you just don't see very often. And this is, I mean, Shaq from the Suns, made from Windcraft in 2006. This is just something you just don't see very often. So I had to pick it up. It's fun, it's different. Uh, and going with that oddball theme, that was also from uh, that same gentleman, uh, Tanner Stevens. So, all right, and then now, going with that oddball theme, I saw Ted and Colleen uh, at this show, who I had um, purchased some things uh, from, or did some trades with, at a previous show, and they had these Tops Action Flats. Um, now it's it's like a stand-up with the character. That's it. It's kind of like got like an embossed nature to it. It's sticking out. You can see the white reflection on some of the curves on there. And then it's got a 1998 Tops card in the background that apparently has a Tops Action Flats logo on it. So, uh, I had never seen these Action Flats cards before. Um, he mentioned there's also a Peyton Manning. Oh, yep, look. So that means there's a Peyton Manning Topps Rookie with a Action Flats logo on it. I can't imagine the pop on that's very high. Um, and it, it's just generally pretty cool. I would love to get the Troy Aikman one, all, all of those. All those guys are Hall of Famers. I'd love to get all those and the Peyton Manning. I don't really care for the Ryan Leaf, but this is something I had never seen before. Kickoff edition. I, it's probably the only year they ever did them, but there's Marino and there was a Brett Favre as well. So I picked those up. I think they were like $3 each. Um, you know, me, oddball stuff, things under $5, <laughs> especially just weird, weird oddball thing. Oddball already implies weird. Um, this is additionally weird. So, all right, and then the last pickup, so thank you, Ted and Colleen, for those. Uh, last pickup, there was um, a dude coming around with some stuff that he was getting rid of, asking if people were buying or trading. I told him I would take a look. Um, he didn't have anything in the raw section that I was fond of. Uh, he had one thing in the uh, slabs that he was getting rid of that I was interested in. Uh, he, I, I kind of wanted to do more of a trade, but there was nothing that he was interested in that I had, apparently. So uh, he made me an offer, um, and I said, yeah. You know, I was, I was providing some help for the kid. I gave him 20 bucks for it. So this is part of why I chose an insert an optic insert for the background and part of why I chose Anthony Edwards for the background. Um, T minus three, two, one hollow insert PSA nine. So I don't have a lot of optic 
insert slabbed. In fact, I only have the Express Lane De'Aaron Fox uh, 10 and a Jason Kidd Express Lane Hollow uh, 9. Um, so this is now my third optic insert that is slabbed. I have a ton of them raw, uh, but Anthony Edwards, promising, very, very promising young player. Uh, been playing fantastic, not only last season, but also at UFC or uh, uh, USA Basketball. Um, but yeah, this is from Henry's Cards. And um, 20 bucks for this. I thought that was a fair deal. So I wanted to pay him 15. He was like, I think he said like 18 or something, like countering. I just gave him 20 bucks. I'm like, whatever. It's some kid trying to get some money. So, okay, fair enough. An extra uh, five bucks here or there is not a big deal. So um, that's the haul. Uh, pretty, pretty good haul. I am satisfied with what I got. We got some optic basketball. A really cool insert that I'm glad I got to show you guys that shows more innovation from the 90s. Uh, some some Topps basketball, some Optic football, some Topps football, a random Derek Jeter Topps baseball. <clears throat> um, we got some oddball stuff with the acrylic stand-up and with these action flats. And I got a slab for the collection as well as probably my favorite pickup of the entire day for a whopping $3 a Joe Montana McFarlane. So super cool. I had a good time at the show. I sold a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be dealing at another show just because I, I, I keep saying like, oh, it's not something I do very often. And to be fair, at this point now I've done it four times the last year. So if I count the Phoenix VIP show November 2023, and then I've done it three times since then, um, one at Diamond of the Rough, one at uh, Desert Dog, and then now at VIP again. So yeah, four times in a year seems about right. If I had more rotating inventory, I'd probably do it more often. But hey, you know what? If you run a show and you would like me to promote your show ahead of time, not just on the walkthrough videos uh, after the fact, um, and you want to pitch me a table to do some promo for your show, I'll make a little trade with you and we'll figure something out. So hit me up. You know where to get a hold of me. Uh, Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, if you want to see my more of my collection, you can check out the Instagram, Twitter, and Threads, where I post two to five times a week, depending on how many video videos I release and how busy I am. And uh, I also post my opinions and my collection over on thehobbyboards.com. A great forum message board system run by the fantastic Mind Cycle. Um, so, if you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. Shows the algorithm you like my vid and shows YouTube to push it to other people. And uh, yeah, it helps us get to a thousand subscribers. Other than that, thank you very much. Love you guys. See you in the next vid. Peace.